Hello, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to um, create a group in the social network. I've already logged into the social network. I just clicked here on the golf social network. So you can see um, I'm logged in as uh, the golf social networking account, uh, which is the main account for this site. And I'm going to show you how to create a group. So if I were to click on groups here or view all groups, it's going to take me to uh, my groups and there's nothing listed here. So I'm going to create a group and I'm going to call it um, Central Florida Ball Strikers. If I, It says to uh, add a description which you can edit this later by editing the group but I'm just gonna put in the name again and um, the category would be Orlando Florida I suppose we could create more categories for groups perhaps um, we could create a category called um, uh, cities or whatever um, however you want to organize your groups the um, albums, videos. See, when you create the group, you can um, allow the group members to photo share. You can allow them to upload and create albums for the group. You can allow them to share videos. Um, probably not upload, which I think is universally deactivated anyway. They can embed videos. Um, events event sharing if they wanted to allow them to create group events and don't get that confused that's not the same as the sponsored events over here these are just um, events within the um, within the groups where they're talking amongst themselves um, file sharing order by creation date enable file sharing announcement enable new member notification, join request notification, and wall post notification. So if people join your group, you can get those notices. You can edit those settings and play around with them and see what works for you. Um, the main thing about this group is just to upload some photos. So let's go to the photos for this group and create a pho photo album and we're going to just name the album after the group name give it a location which isn't necessary give it the same description this can always be edited later we're going to first create the album and now that we've created the album we're going to upload photos to this album so we can add files to we only have one album here in the album name we can create a new album from here but we just created this one so we're just gonna add files that's gonna open up the local computer where you find your files and uh, I think you can drag and drop, but um, I think you can also just like click Control A, which will select everything, and then um, click Open, and that's going to um, list them all there. So you're just gonna you've already added all the files, and now you're just going to start the upload. There's a lot of a lot of photos being uploaded there. So I'll probably pause the video for a moment and come back to this in a few minutes when it's finished. Okay, so um, a, a couple of notes. I'm still uploading photos here. If you have a lot of photos, um, it would probably be wise to, um, especially if you want them to upload within a reasonable amount of time, to uh, shrink them down to 
say uh, 1000 pixels wide, which is about as wide as your screen anyway, or, um, uh, or less. Uh, anything 600 to 1000 pixels wide would be fine. You really don't need to upload 4000, 5000, um, uh, five megapixel, um, I mean, five megabyte images per image. So um, these are just, if, if they're just for the web, if they're not for printing or something like that. Um, and those limitations can be set on the back end as well. You can limit the amount of uh, photos that a user can upload per day, and you can limit the, the size of the photos that are allowed to be uploaded. That would force um, users to um, upload within a reasonable size. Otherwise, um, it could slow down your site and slow down the loading pages, possibly. Um, while I'm uh, loading those photos, I wanted to quickly show you, um, these would be uh, two group examples underneath my groups uh, for, for, um, for the main user of this website. The, uh, I'm lo right now I'm loading images for Central Florida Ball Strikers into their group photo album. And um, when you get onto your, any, a group that you that you created any whenever a user creates a group you um, you have the ability to change the cover for that group or change the avatar so when you want to change the cover for a group you can choose from any of your photo albums any photos that you've uploaded in the past including group photos that you might have uploaded um, when you want to change your avatar it's going to ask you to um, upload a photo from your from your computer. So you can just upload, um, this one was in the, the group photo, so I thought it might be appropriate for the avatar as well. So um, you can size that and shape it. So it's really easy to put in a group, uh, a photo for the group and an avatar for the group. Um, you might wanna put, as far as an avatar, you might wanna put a symbol that represents the group or a logo that represents the group that might be appropriate. Um, that shows up in places like like um, these little modules on the side where you might see a list of all the groups on the home page or something like that whenever you do anything on your on your um, on on your uh, account when you're logged in it it shows up that you know you uploaded photos or you you updated your just like on Facebook anytime you do anything it kind of shows your what you did um, let me pause this while the rest of those photos keep Okay, so the photos uh, finished uploading. We're gonna view the album. We can see that we're able to remove, remove the, uh, you can move the order around by dragging and dropping here. There's probably, I'm not sure if there's additional ways to edit that, edit the photos. Um, I'm clicking on one of the photos just to see what happens. Okay, so it, it loads up the slideshow. So um, you can view it in a slideshow mode. Set as cover or set as profile picture so you have different options there. So there's a feature when you get back to your photo album, you can hover over and you can, you can upload a photo, you can delete the entire album, you can feature this album, and you can edit this album here. A quick note when you're when you're in, uh, if you want to view the group photos and you're you're in the group, like you've, you've selected groups, um, you'll, this is your toolbar, don't confuse it with the group, the group options. So when you're, when you're going to your groups, you can click on one of your groups that you've created. Um, and then you have a, a mini group, group, my group updates, my groups, all groups. So don't click on photos because those are just gonna be your personal photos to your, your um, profile photos. Um, not to be confused with group photos, which the whole group shares. 
so if you go to the group photo album, um, the Central Florida Ball Strikers, for example, you'd want to click here to view that album. And um, I just wanted to point that out because it can get confusing when you when you have your photos and you have the group photos. And the other thing to note is that you're logged into your account and you uploaded these photos. Um, I don't think that anyone else would have the ability to remove these photos besides the administrator of the website. Uh, yeah, anyone else would just see the album without that delete photo part, as you can. See. Okay, and as a as a member, as when I'm signed in as a member, I'm not able to add photos to the group or or interact with the group. I would have to first open up the group and then. Um, I mean, I can view photos, but I can't. Um, if I go, I'd have to go to the group, the group's page. I'd have to join the group. And once I join the group, it gives me some additional options. Now I can invite friends, leave groups, or create a stuck this thing. It also gives me the ability to go in here and view the photo albums, and create an album and upload photos and. Those weren't that those options weren't <clears throat> there before until I um until I joined. Okay, and it, it it would allow me to upload photos even to an album that someone else started. So if several members were in the group and they all had their own photos from that day's activity that they wanted to upload, they could all add those files to that photo album, which might be named after the group or named after the particular event or date. Um, and organized however the group wants to organize it. However, you'd only be able to delete the individual photos that you actually uploaded. Okay. I think that's it for groups and uh, group photos. You can explore around and um, probably learn uh, other little things that you can do with groups and group photos and other ways to interact with your group, and I advise doing that. Thanks for watching.